I will make this country like I am, big, intimidating, and powerful. What have you done? Please don't kill me. I only ate a cheeseburger this morning. I'm not talking about that. There's a chance that we'll all die. From what? A nuclear bomb, you maggot. So you want me to help you and you just insulted me? You're the vice president and our only hope to put down that monster. I can't believe that you said monster like that and I can't help you with that. Do you want to have a bullet in your skull right now? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Continue, just don't kill me. Our president decided to attack one of the most powerful and richest countries in the world. The nuke ended up going 135 miles away from the capital which made the president of the country feel like they have been betrayed. They sent ICBMs to our country which made us their rivals. And if we don't stop this fast, we might have to go into a nuclear war. But how did this happen all of a sudden? Ever since you dropped up being president, you made a promise so cancreted in the citizens' minds, that didn't change or has been fact-checked ever since you've been president. Did you mean concrete? Of course, I did. But now since you're not the president anymore, he's been talking some laws and treaties that confuse the citizens and make them enraged because of the promise that you did which was that there will never be a world war or any other type of war. Did you mean confused? Yes. If we stop this, we'll have world peace again.